So I'm in the middle of one of those health scares that you get in middle age where you're not quite sure what's going on. You just feel achy, you feel sick, you feel like, I don't know, all your organs don't work anymore. So you go and see the GP and they run you through some tests. Now, I am currently awaiting one result and fingers crossed that's going to be fine. Essentially, there's some sort of um, issue with my liver function, but, you know, only very slightly sort of just rerunning some tests. But the main diagnosis was, drum roll, obesity. And it wasn't necessarily a surprise. Like, I've steadily increased weight since lockdown began, particularly um, as, like, dietary habits have slipped and for whatever reason, exercise has gone out the window, although it was never really in the room in the first place. Um, but felt a bit odd, like sitting in the doctor's room and basically the, the diagnosis, the reason for all of these pains and exhaustion probably is like obesity. It's the fact that I weigh far too much. I've been conscious of this and haven't really done enough to fix it. Like it's one of those things that creeps in and from time to time I go, God, I really need to lose weight. But realistically, I've done nothing about it. It was only really sitting in the doctor's office then that I was like, okay, look, the GP is telling me I need to lose weight to the point where they're putting me on an NHS, like weight management course. I'm just waiting for details of that. Um, but I, I'm at this fork in the road where in my 40th year, I could make a decision that's going to impact like the next 20 years. One of those routes will be um, being one of those 60 year olds that struggles to do anything, you know, getting out of the car is a hassle. They're on a mobility scooter because they weigh too much. Like, I'm not morbidly obese, but you know, the trend is that I am putting on weight. I am not losing weight. So realistically, it makes sense that if I continue to live the way I am, despite some of the positive changes I made, that I'm going to end up ill, or iller rather, because I'm still deciding to put on weight. I'm still deciding to go down that path of someone that eats too much processed foods and doesn't exercise enough, which, you know, it sounds obvious, right? Or I can make a decision to do something about it. And that's the point I'm at. Like, I have to do something about this because I don't want to be one of those people that, you know, has diabetes in their 50s or, um, you know, suffers from heart problems be by choice because they decided to eat too much food or too much fatty food. I don't want to be one of those people that costs the NHS a lot of money. I don't want to be one of those people that, you know, dies early because of lifestyle choices that I've made. So I'm I'm determined to do something about this. The problem I have is just the way my brain works really makes it difficult to maintain positive routines. Negative routines I can like commit to. I can wake up every morning and and you know point out all the flaws about myself. But wake up every morning and do something positive for myself is 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 more difficult. And I'm gonna come into you guys for for support. Firstly, it's fabulous to be back. But secondly, I need your help now. I think I feel that you know physical health and mental health go hand in hand. Um, but I'm looking at this as I have a period of time now, ideally before this time next year, to be in a healthier position. And I want to be able to look back at this video and think, yo, that's where you are at. Now look at what you can do. So some things in terms of like building healthy habits, I'm, I'm rubbish at it. Like I can do, I can go to the gym. I, in fact, I love going to the gym. But as soon as I miss a couple of days or for whatever reason, have a week away from the gym, I just can't get back into it. Like I can't restart that cycle. So those people that are similarly brained, tell me what it is that you did to mean that if you took a break, if you took a gap, that you could restart the cycle easily or easier at least. The other thing is tracking calories. Like everyone who's involved in health would tell you to that tracking calories is like one of the most useful things that you can do. I'll do it for a week and then for whatever reason, I'll forget to do it. And then it may as well not exist. The process may, may as well not exist. So for those people that perhaps recognize that in themselves, but have succeeded, what was it that you've done that worked? So 
in my head I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should do the whole week in advance and then stick to that plan. Or maybe I should put it into my work calendar, but I'd probably still skip it. So I'm looking for ways to, to make that work. And alongside this, I want to be able to build the foundations of a, a like a, a exercise routine that just sticks with me. For whatever reason, like working out at home doesn't appeal to me. I feel like I'm someone who's got to go to the place to exercise. Something that's maybe worked in the past, and again, advice would be great here, is like a challenge. So you're setting something in the diary and then working towards it, you know, like a, a, a an event for example, you know, when I've done, I did a half marathon in the past, I've done like a hundred kilometer overnight cycle for charity. And those aren't necessarily like mammoth fitness tests, um, or they weren't at the time, but I still worked relatively hard for them. The cycling one, definitely the, the half marathon, I probably could have trained more, um, but I was really confident about my ability to do it. So maybe I need something like that. So are there events coming up maybe towards summer, September, you know, summer or autumn 2022 that I could get involved in that would be like a good challenge or a good testament of the progress that I've made. I'm hoping this will be useful for you guys because, you know, it's an opportunity for me to learn a bit more about physical health. I've, I've done a lot of learning about mental health. You know, and I won't lie, that's ups and downs always, just as I imagine my physical health will be. But I've never been like one of those like athletes that's fallen out of shape and is ready to get back in shape. I've always been pretty lazy. I've always been, you know, um, you know, the, the bigger lad in class. So it isn't new to me. Like my body shape isn't new to me. But at the same time, like I know it can be different. I'm la I laugh at that meme of the French bulldog in like, I think it's wearing like a hoodie and it says like men over forties in skinny jeans because like th that's exactly what I look like is this kind of like round potato body with little bread breadstick legs. Um, and I don't necessarily want to be that guy. I want to have like a long life. I want to be able to kind of enjoy my middle age my old age I want to be able to kind of like still do physical things with my daughter and I don't want to kind of continue down this trend of you know just getting heavier and heavier year on year um I look back at some of my kind of weight and I think I've put on like 20 kilos in two or three years like that's a lot of weight it's a lot of weight to shift you know to even get back to that point where I probably considered myself overweight that's a lot of weight to shift but somehow I've managed to pack it on. So you're going to see a lot more of me as I take on this quest for physical health. I really hope that it's useful as an experience for you as it will be for me. And I would love to learn from you about how to build those positive habits, what sports you're doing, the recipes you're enjoying, the, the processes you went through to kind of get in charge of your physical health. And maybe in a year's time, we can react to this video and I'll be able to see. maybe that's the challenge in a year's time I'm going to react to this video and I'll find out what my physical health is like whether that's a good thing or that's a bad thing it's a commitment so as always my name's Alex it's been fabulous to see you thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow peace